Hey guys, I'm Ines and today we're at Changi Beach Car Park 6. Today we're going to be exploring the sandy shores at low tide. People always think in Singapore that our beaches don't have much, but here in Changi, the animals, algae and plants are thriving. So let's go see what we can find. Let me teach you how we can find animals on our shores. So sometimes we look for imprints at the top of the sand. So I found one right here. Did you guys see this circular thing over here? If we flip it over, we have a sand dollar. And right at the bottom of them, they actually have spines. And these spines help them move around and also burrow under the sand and hide away from the predators. Crabs are actually from a group called decapods. So decapods actually have 10 legs, but this guy over here is missing one of them. What's so special about this particular crab is that they actually have modified legs at the back, pedal like structures which help them swim very fast away from predators or to help them catch them free. This is a type of swimming crab and in particular it's actually called a flower crab. So how can we tell? We can actually look at the patterns all over the shelves, it's very pretty. You can see there's a lot of dots and the coloration of it, that's how we can tell it's a flower crab. So usually when you buy crab, you always want to have the roll because that's the best part of the crab. So let's flip it over you can see if we can find that. So how can we tell if they have roll? So we usually try to see whether they're male or female, but in this case, they have a triangular shape over here. So that means they're male. If they're female, they actually have a semicircle shape, which is where all the roll is stored. Free fact number two. Soft shell crabs aren't actually specific species of crabs, but they're actually crabs that have recently molted and the shells haven't hardened, so that's why they're edible. Alright, so what do we have over here? Over here we have a sand collar. So this is actually the egg mass structure of a moon snail. How this is made is that the mom moon snail will sit right in the middle of the sand collar and they will use mucus and sand and they rub it together and they make this entire structure. And then they'll lay thousands of eggs all over it. So if you ever see a sand collar intact on our shores, don't touch it, okay? Because they actually have eggs lying all over the structure. Over here we have the shell of the moon snail. So even though this shell may look very pretty and dainty, these guys are actually predatory animals. What these snails do to predate is that they actually use a foot and a wrap around the prey and they'll suffocate them till they die. But if that fails, they'll actually secrete an acid onto the shell and then they will soften the whole shell and they'll be able to drill a really nice deep hole deep into the shell. What we have over here something we're all very familiar with. So these over here are called hermit crabs. So hermit crabs are actually not true crabs and that's because they aren't able to create their own shells, unlike true crabs. So they actually have a very soft abdomen that requires them to always have a shell on them. Hermit crabs love queuing up just like Singaporeans. So why do they do that? That's because hermit crabs, they grow bigger, they need to change their shells. So sometimes we find hermit crabs all lined up according to size and they'll want to efficiently change their shells so they can find a new home. Alright, we've officially entered sand bubble crab territory! Alright, so we know that they're here because of all the intricate patterns everywhere. So be careful not to step around because the crabs are the same colour and size of all these sand balls. So we actually know how long the tide has been out by looking at the sandbar. So the more intricate the pattern, the longer the sandbar has been exposed. So these balls over here aren't actually poop. It's actually made by the sand bubble crab. So what the sand bubble crab does actually is they pick up the sand and they sieve through it in all the food particles. They make a ball of all the sand remaining and they release it into sand balls. Oh look, there's one over there! Wow, even in an environment that's seemingly bare, there's so much life on our shores. Living in a city and nature allows us to get up close and personal with such cool animals, which is my favourite part about intertidal walks. So if you are keen to volunteer with N Park, sign up for our biodiversity beach patrols. There's so much more to see in our shores. Come down and discover these tidal treasures for yourselves. See you next time!